This video presents a circuit to program memory chip 74LS189. The 74189 is a 64-bit RAM having 16 memory locations and the size of each location is 4 bits. The 74189 can easily be used in a 4-bit or 8-bit microcomputer applications. Let's have a look at the components used for the memory programmer circuit. We have two micro switches. We have a 7400 which is quad 9 gate. 74393 which is dual 4 bit counter. We have three MC14495 drivers which are used to drive these three 7 segment displays. Now the heart of the circuit is the 74LS189 which is a 64-bit RAM chip. We also have a 7404 which is hex inverter and finally we have two push buttons. The pin diagram of the 74189 is shown here. This side represents the input pins and this side represents the output pins. Starting with the input pins, we have the address lines A0 to A3, which is interface with the address bus of a microcomputer systems. Now, through these lines, we can access any one location, uh, any one of the 16 locations within the chip. So the lo address of the first location is 0, and the address of the last location is 15. The data lines are D0 to D3, and this is interfaced with the data bus of a microcomputer. Now, through these lines, we can uh, copy a 4-bit number into any one of the 16 locations available in the chip. This IC has two control uh, pins, chip select and write enable. Chip select, which is active low, uh, it's normally grounded so that uh, the IC can be accessible and the write enable which is also active low is used to uh, write data or write the data here the 4-bit number into any one of the memory locations selected by the address pins here. Finally we have the output pins O0 to O3 and through these pins we can see uh, the 4-bit number stored in any location but this will only be available when the write enable pin is at high logic. Now notice that the output pins are all active low meaning that we have to invert each pin here so that we can see the uh, correct value. A block diagram of the RAM programmer is shown here. The heart of the system is the 74LS189, the 64-bit RAM to be programmed. It has the four input data lines, four input address lines, and four output data lines, and two control lines. To generate the 4-bit number to be copied into the memory, the user presses a switch which then generates a clock signal that has been cleaned up by the debouncing circuit. This clock signal is used to feed into a 4-bit counter to generate a 4-bit number. The 4-bit number can also be displayed on the 7th segment through the driver. In a similar way, we can generate the 4-bit address by the user pressing a switch here which generates a clock signal again through the 4-bit counter we have the 4-bit address. The 4-bit uh, address can also be displayed on a 7-segment display. Once we have the 4-bit number to be copied available at the input data lines and the user has selected the memory location through the address lines the next step is to press the right button which causes this data here to be copied into that location. And once we release the button, the data will be available at the output lines, but first it has to be negated and then fed into the 7-segment display. 
Finally, this clear push button is used to reset the address value and the input data value to zero. Before we begin with a demonstration, let's have a look at the implemented circuit here. This uh, micro switch will be used to determine the input data to be copied. The input data is displayed on this seven segment screen. This micro switch will be used to determine the memory location, which is uh, displayed on this uh, screen here. And this screen here will display the output data from the memory. This is the write button and this is the reset button. Now for a quick demonstration, first let's change the memory locations and observe the uh, output data at each location. Next, let's change the input data values. Now, in this first example, we will store zeros into all of the memory locations. Now we scan through the memory locations observing that the output is zero at each location. Now in this next example, we will store even integers from locations zero to seven and odd integers from location eight to F. Now let's flip through the locations and check the result. Currently, I'm working on a 4-bit microcomputer project, which is still a work in progress. And I'll be using the 74189 RAM chip to store my code and data. 